Hello my friends, my name is Artur Rey and I am an Estonian YouTuber. Oh, I've been dying to say that for such a long time. Before we get on to the video, today is 24th of December. Today is Christmas Eve. Little baby Jesus was born today, 2018 years ago. If he existed. Who knows, but it's Christmas. Happy Christmas to you my friends. Be with your families, spend time with your loved ones, make them gifts. And don't drink too much. Happy Christmas. I've been in the army and I haven't been able to make any videos. I mean, I've been filming with my iPhone. Shh, don't tell anyone. But I haven't been able to upload. So this is the time I share my experience with you. The last month and a half that you have been missing out. Living your own lives. But now Mr. Arthur is back again. And we will see what has been happening. <laughs> First off, don't ask why I'm wearing this. It's super warm. I like it. It's comfy. That's why I'm wearing it. So as you guys know, I have been in the military, in the army. I've been serving my time of eight months in the Estonian army and I haven't been able to make videos. They won't let us out and now it's the Christmas and New Year's holiday. I am here, home, in Tartu, 22nd of December till 2nd of January, yes. And I arrived yesterday, and to only one day after I arrived, I'm already making videos. This is how fast it goes. Last time I made a video, I completed my basic course in the training. But now, I have completed the speciality. I am a communications guy now, I have been trained, and I know how to speak to my phone. Hello, blah 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 blah. No, no, no. I know how to operate the radio stations we have, but I don't want to talk about that. A lot of cool things have happened. I'm gonna mention the ones that I have footage on my phones. So we had a few things called Vodreli or a bed race in English, I guess. You have a very limited time to make your bed and you have to do it. Oh, it was such a mess. Look at the footage. It's crazy. Everyone's running and doing it and just I... I helped uh, my bunk bed mate, you know, he sleeps on the lower side of my bunk bed. I helped him to make the sheet, to make the bed, and I ripped it in half. I ripped his sheet like, ah, oh, you know, I just broke it. Didn't feel any guilt also. Yeah, that happened. Also, there was a dunk on March. It's like this old Viking tradition that Danish people come to Stalin to make this march, like Vikings going to war. And a few people from our battalion got to go. I was one of them who got to go. Really proud of it. Yeah, it was 25 kilometers, not the longest thing, but we didn't make any breaks and we just kept on going. Poof, poof, poof. No breaks for, you know, strong Viking Estonians. We have walked about five kilometers. The weather is perfect right now. The conditions are lovely. Men are very motivated still. We have a lot more to go. We are determined to finish. And let's see what's gonna happen. I don't feel any pain in my legs yet, but it's gonna come. And we completed it uh, in four hours, which is a, a, a nice, good pace. It was so cool. I love these things. Very awesome. And I got to carry the flag of our skull of Kuperianov. Woo! One of the big news is that I got a big allowance from the lieutenant to actually make videos for Kuperianov's um, internet profile. Facebook, whatever they have, YouTube. So far I have made two videos. One was about the sports day, it was just an event, and the second one was the video that introduces Kuprianov to the future military personnel, young men who come to serve there. So yeah, that was a really cool thing. We went out, we filmed, we had all the equipment, the guns, the, you know, everything to use, and I think it came out really good. Oma kogemuse põhjal saan väita, et Kuprianovis on karm disipliin, kõrgtasemel välja õppe. All of the links that I'm going to talk about today are in the description below. And if I talk too fast, too bad. This video is gonna be super long if I talk slow, so just put the video on half speed if I speak too fast for you. There's another video, now this one is a song in Estonian. One day I was feeling, feeling weird, I felt like I want to do something creative because I'm a very creative personality. I took my paper, I took my pen, I sat down in the room that everyone is always relaxing, there was no one there at that time, lucky me, took my guitar, wrote a freaking song. It's called The March of Kuperianov. In Estonian it's Kuperianov was a Mars. And that was, it was an awesome damn song, it was like, oh, power, yeah, Viking 
and I uploaded that on my Facebook page. Also, the links are in the description. Cupriano saw it, they really liked it, so they also uploaded it on their Facebook page, and then the media got uh, the smell of it, and uh, a website, Estonian media website, published it also. It's Malleft Lecht, which is like a country paper in, in English. Not many people read it, but still it's like, ah oh, yeah, my song is up there, I'm really proud about it. It's a nice little th song, I even performed with it. One day, before we got let out from the Cupriano to the vacation, there was like a comedic thing. There was a stand-up comedy guy, and I performed the song to to the audience after every show he made. So yeah, for me it's like a win-win-win-win-win. I'm a soldier, I get to make videos, I get to write songs, I get to perform them to other soldiers, to my fellow Estonians, I mean, what more could I need? Also a thing that I didn't expect is someone listened to the song and made a remix out of that. Trap House Beat Remix. Listen to this stuff. Isn't that on fire? It's really cool. Check it out in the description below. Okay, enough of the army. There has been a lot of army talk. I don't want to talk about the army anymore. I want to relax and talk about my own stuff. Yesterday my mother came to pick me up. Oh, my mother is the best. She always comes to pick me up. It's like two hour drive from home. She's amazing. She always just... No, oh, I have no words. The best mother in the world. Came to pick me up. Uh, brought me to Tartu. She lives in the other city. And we went to shopping, because you know I lived three years in Hollywood, the sun, the 30 degrees Celsius outside, I don't need winter clothing. Now I'm in Estonia and it's freaking snowing everywhere, it's cold, it's like minus 10 sometimes. Oh and all you guys who say minus 10 is not cold, it is cold. I know minus 30 is even more colder, we have that too, but minus 10 is also cold. And you cannot go outside with your just leather jacket with minus 10, you need some like puffing, you know. So, we went shopping, it was really hard because I have a very specific taste. I don't wear any like random sh I don't wear popular like hoodies and stuff. I wanted leather winter jackets. No one sold them but finally we found one store that one store that had these leather jackets with fur and you know Slav power on them. I knew that was the place. We picked the one out and now I'm gonna show you. I picked out the one I like the most. It's this black leather winter jacket. It's perfect. I love it. I'm gonna wear it all the time. I mean, I'm even gonna wear it in the summer because it just looks fabulous. Then I also got a hat. Of course, a Russian hat. It has to be. Of course, then I got a, a scarf. All of this because I haven't been able to take part in Estonian winter for three years. I don't have winter clothing. Now I have. I'm a normal Estonian again. Yippee yay! Then I also bought these sweatpants because I usually only wear Adidas. But uh, Adidas was too cold for winter, I didn't just had to buy them fast, so this time I just bought these random ones. They're super comfy, never gonna take them off again, I'm gonna just spend the rest of my life in them. Also I got this shirt, this Russian cool army shirt, it's super comfy, I'm also never gonna take it off again. If it's gonna bother you then you should also get one of these, then we're the same, you know. Also, you should know that I have two brothers and one sister and the two brothers have the same pants and the same shirt, we all look the same like triplets. We're not triplets, but we look like the triplets. So it's super cool. Whew, that's a lot of talk, man. Next topic, I'm gonna tell you what my plans here are, because I'm here 10 days making videos for you. I will try to make as many as possible, because I know you guys are hungry for entertainment, and I love to entertain you guys, and I only have 10 days. What my plan is, is trying to make three videos a week. Monday, Wednesday and Friday, at least the duration of my being free from the army. So, you get a video on Monday, Wednesday and Friday basically. If I have time I will try to make advance, the videos in advance, so if I go back to the army in January you still get videos for a week at least. I will try to do that, I cannot say anything, maybe you know I don't have any time, just... I'll... you know, let's see what happens. I wanted to say this means so much to me. I have been in the army, I have not been able to make videos for you guys. I made them for Cooperiano, but it's different. 
and I miss my audience. I don't really interact with you, I don't make live streams, I don't really have chat rooms, but I read the comments, that's enough for me, and that's my way of interaction to you. Also, this right now is my way of interaction to you. I talk, you watch, we, you know, we interact. And I enjoy this really much. I wouldn't be anyone on YouTube without audience, I would just be a guy talking to a camera, no one would watch it. But th since there are you guys, thank you so much for being here, for, you know, I come back from the army, I just make a video and people watch it again, it's, it's, it's a blessing from heavens, the gods have blessed me with fairy dust, you know. Thank you so much for being here, just for watching, I know there's someone watching me that gives me a point to make these videos. So yeah, thank you for being there. But I wanted to talk about Patreon. Now this touches money a little bit, if the, this subject is touchy for you, just skip one minute of this video. The Patreon thing is, when I was in the army I wasn't making much videos, I lost uh, like half of my Patreon supporters. This is natural, of course. I wouldn't support anyone who doesn't make anything for me. I wouldn't. I understand this. Also, now that I live in Estonia, turns out that Patreon taxes my Patreons for being my Patreon. It's like... The fact that I live in Estonia and they have to pay the money to Estonia makes it a 20% extra tax, VAT tax to be paid by you guys. It's, it's crazy stupid. Like you cannot support your artist even with like one dollar without one fifth of it being taken by Patreon just because I live in Eastern Europe. It's crazy. The wages here are super small. If I lived in America it wasn't a problem. They didn't tax my Patreons. Now I live in Estonia a poorer country and they start taxing my patrons and some of the patrons go away because of that some of them went away because I was in the army my patron is pretty empty right now there's not uh, a lot of patrons luckily I'm in the army I don't have to pay for food you know and stuff like that but I wanted to tell you guys if you do enjoy my content I do love making it and from YouTube you know YouTube is how it is nowadays you don't get much from there so if you can allow it to yourself then go to the Patreon and support, and uh, I understand if you don't want to do it right now, because I'm in the army, I cannot make much content for you, but you can trust me on that, that if I come back, it's gonna be my life. I'm a YouTuber, this is what I do. Even if you don't support me, I do it. I just say that there is a way to support me. You can do it on Patreon. The Patreon link is in the description below. If you can allow it to yourself, head onto the Patreon and support the channel. And you will get very cool videos for the next 10 days and maybe more. And in the summer, you'll get a lot of videos till the rest of my life. Because I'm a freaking YouTuber and that's what I do. I mean, if all my patrons run out, then I have to... To survive, I have to make merch. Yes. But I figured I'm not gonna make any merch till I have like 50,000 subscribers. Otherwise, it's just weird. Hey, who is this guy selling his like stuff? He only has 40,000 subscribers. When we get to 50... I'm gonna start some merch thing, so in Patreon you still have to make an account and stuff like that. Some of you are lazy, they don't wanna do it. I'm lazy too, merch is easy, you just buy a shirt and done, boom. I get the support, you get the shirt, you get the videos also, everyone is happy. So if you get, we get to 50,000, merch is coming live, baby. Uh, I mean, I'm telling this right now, but I have never sold merch before. I have no idea what or how or like, how does this work? I don't, everyone is selling merch, I don't just, I'm falling behind on times, I'm a slow learner on that stuff, so yeah, I will google how to sell merch and then I'll find out. I know I'm gonna spend my Christmas with my family, I'm gonna spend my New Year's with my family as always, never been much of a like, a party person on New Year's, 10, 9, 8, ah New Year's, never done that, in Estonia I just, I'm with my family, we just watch the fireworks and hug each other and predict the future and stuff like stuff like that, family time. Oh, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna have a lot of parties during the vac vacation, but I also tap it on your hearts that uh, you never can be too much with your family. I mean, usually nowadays people spend too little time with their families. And with the families it's not that much of a quality time than quantity time. People need to feel that they are there. Even if you don't speak to the person, you're just in the same room, on the phones. You're both together in the Christmas and New Year's. You know you're there for each other. You know you can trust each other. It's family. In Estonia, very important. In the world, even more important. So, be with your families. I will be with my family. Let's all make it a good Christmas, good New Year's Eve. And 2019 will be a crazy!
Yes. It will be a year when I will start the merch thing, I think, I hope. I will get out of the army, I will go into university in Estonia, I will maybe take off this shirt, perhaps, maybe not. And if I go traveling, I will show it all to you. Yay! Thank you, my friends, so much for, watch for watching. I know this is a very long video. I know my accent is very thick. It's going worse because I'm in Estonia. I'm not going back to America and it's affecting my uh, English. I hope you understand. If you don't, put the video at speed on half speed. Watch it again. If you still don't understand, then you are f to my friend. Yes, I will try to speak as clear as I can. But yeah, thank you for being there. Thank you for being a Patreon, for just supporting, commenting, liking. Really warms my heart, makes me feel like I'm necessary for someone. Next video will be in two days, you don't have to worry about it. But until then, my friends, check out all the links in the description below. Stay cool and bye bye.